this is Kathy. I work in the Makery at the Elmhurst Public Library. Today I wanted to show you how you can weld script text using Inkscape. One of the reasons you might want to weld your text is if you wanted to cut a word out of a piece of wood or vinyl using the Cricut or Silhouette machines, and you want it to be all one piece, so you're not trying to hold several pieces together. So I'm going to show you how to do that. We're going to use Inkscape today, which is a free program that you can download from the web. When you open it, this is what it looks like. And this rectangle here in the middle is our workspace. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and make it a little bit bigger, easier for you to see what we're doing, and move it over into the center. Our tools are here on the left-hand side of the screen. I'm looking for the text tool, so that will be the A. Come over. All right. And I am going to find my favorite script font up here on the left, script MT bold. So now I can make this a little bit bigger. Okay, so I have my word. Now what you need to do is we want to see where these letters are connected. The way that we're going to do that is over here on the right hand side under fill and stroke with stroke paint, we're going to select the flat color and we're just going to use black. And then we're going to click on the fill tab and I don't want to fill it. So this is Zooming in so we can get a clearer view. You can see where these letters are connected with these lines between the letters. If we were to pull this into one of our cutting programs or on a, one of our machine cutting machines, the Cricut, the Silhouette, the Carvey or the laser cutter, it would cut on each one of these lines, which would mean that you would have individual letters so that we don't do that if you have your word highlighted and you go up here to path and click on union okay we have our word back i'm going to go to my stroke paint and make it black i'm going to go to fill and say no fill and you can see that the lines between our letters have disappeared so when it cuts, it would cut this all as one piece with the exception of the dot for the I. You would have one continuous word here with all of the letters connected. So again, what you want to make sure in order to see how your letters are connected, you use the stroke paint with black and you want a no fill. Once you have your text the way you want it you would do a file save as and i'll just name it creative i'm going to save it on my desktop i'm going to save it as an svg click on save and then this can be brought into any of our other programs to cut it i hope you found this helpful